we're back hello guys i don't have my tripod so i'm trying to prop this up welcome to a week in my life as a high school senior if you're new here i'm katie and i graduate high school in like four and a half months I can't believe it. Anyway, I love filming these videos because they're so fun to look back on and I know you guys love watching these videos. I posted one of these in October and it did really well. And like I said, they're just so fun for me to look back on. Anyway, it's Monday, January 9th, 2023. It's 11.42 right now. I got out of school at 11.20. I only had two classes today, but I had cheer practice this morning. It was a very hectic, chaotic morning. I didn't go to bed till really late last night, which I literally have no good excuse for. I was just like, being stupid i was up late and that made me late to practice which is why i didn't vlog this morning and why i haven't eaten anything all day i'm so hungry and i just got to my favorite it's like i don't even know how to describe it supermarket kind of thing it's a big grocery store and they have a bunch of restaurants inside they have my favorite salad place so i'm gonna get a salad and go in their coffee shop and get some work done and probably get a warm drink it's supposed to rain i think basically all week it rained last week yeah um like not all week i take that back tomorrow and then all of this weekend so it's a fun week two bathrooms basketball games we've seen your stuff on friday i also have to go to detention on friday so stay tuned i'll explain that when the time comes it's so dumb but you guys are coming with me for it all you know i find the window of opportunity to paint a rainbow of silk and call it serendipity you can drop my motorcycle and all will be forgiven It's a celebration, so I lift you off the ground Not only me falling the side I'm back. I just got home and I'm gonna show you guys what I got really quickly because I'm supposed to turn around and meet Matt at the gym like right now and I'm not ready so I need to hurry up but I got all this stuff in spinach and this place is so expensive like I really should not be grocery shopping here but I just really wanted to get these things. This store is literally a whole experience like they have those carts. I've only seen these twice. One time being now and the other time being in the Amazon store when I was in Seattle but you scan an app and put your groceries in the cart and then you pay on the cart and then you just walk out with your groceries. It boggles my mind. I think I would feel like I was stealing the items i don't know anyway i don't really ever go here like more than once a month just because it's so expensive even the salad and the coffee is way overpriced but it's an experience for me you know so this is what i got first this chocolate bread for my avocado toast this teriyaki sauce and my favorite popcorn ever from lesser evil anyway i need to hurry up because i need to meet mad at the gym and then come back here so i can watch the national championship football game my dad and my brother are there with one of my brother's friends in la for the game and pcu is playing my brother goes there they were never projected to do really well this season so the fact that they've made it this far is so exciting so i want to be back in time i'm going to change really quick because i'm still in all my school stuff i cannot get these shoes off I'm ready. It's currently 3.15 p.m. So I have like an hour and a half-ish. The car is a sty. I'm just now leaving the gym. A bunch of Matt's friends are here. And so they're all like convening in the parking lot. But I'm on my way home. My mom said she's going to door dash food. And I'm so excited. We're going to watch the game. It was a good but very short workout. And this is like the creepiest place to be in this back alley. But the parking is always a nightmare. So I'll see you guys when I get home. This is messed up. I am so excited to watch. I am still learning this camera. I can turn up and down the exposure and I keep doing it by accident. Okay, bye. We got sandwiches. I'm so excited. This is the best sauce ever. What'd you say? I have a wrap. She has a wrap. I have a wrap version of Katie's sandwich and the sauce is I got sour. onions on this and I never get onions on my sandwiches, but I was feeling like I needed to branch out. TC is also losing horror right now. I don't think it's gonna get any better, but I we're still hope. supporting. We're still watching. I have hope. It's 731 right now. So not looking too hot. Not vibing with this game. It's gotten worse. Maybe they can do something good here. Look at that. Painful. Right, Reba? Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. Reba in wide angle is a favorite of mine. It's now 7.15. I have a new screensaver. And Georgia is winning. 7 to 52. Hi guys, it is way later. I need to talk quietly because my brother's friend from college is staying with us and he's like sleeping right out there. I really need to go to sleep because I have to be up early tomorrow morning. I'll explain why in the morning I have this clay all over my fingers. I also got my nails done yesterday. They had to leave these too short because they broke off. But it's like a light muted, I don't know, like white with a green undertone. Clearly I'm not in bed. I'm doing a face mask. I have my 
Christmas pajamas on. This is the face mask I'm doing. I swear I bought this thing years ago, but I've had it forever and there's still over half. It's literally full. I use it probably once every three months, but I think this is totally worth the money. So that's what I'm up to. Matt came over to watch the second half of that game and we also did math homework together and then I got a little bit of editing done, which is super key for me. That's something else I want to focus on with YouTube stuff in 2023 is editing videos as I film them because last year i would have waited till the end of this week to edit this video but since i'm filming every day if i try to get a good chunk of each day rough cut or at least imported it makes the process a million times easier and i failed here i am the night before i am supposed to upload this video it's 10 something and i'm not even halfway in the clothes are set out for tomorrow and i need to let this mask dry and then wash it off I got these from CVS along with a bunch of other random things. They're giant cotton pads, usually to take off my makeup. I use these cotton rounds and I feel like I use 10 every single time I take off my makeup. It just feels so counterproductive and I'm so glad I found these because now I can get all my makeup off in one. If you want to go to CVS, this is what they look like, but I'm sure they're on Amazon too, so I'll link them down below. I don't know why... I never switched to these or thought of this. I also got this e.l.f. setting spray. My sister Ali has it and she really likes it, so I'll keep you updated. I don't think I like this light. It feels very fake to me to have the light on and everything so filtered. I feel like people come to YouTube to see the real stuff. I don't know. That's obviously better, but this is just so high maintenance. While my face mask dries, probably has like five or six more minutes, I'm gonna start reading this book. I saw a girl I love following on Instagram. Her name is Mac True. I'll put it on the screen, but she shares so much good content regarding faith and surrounding her relationship with Jesus. And she talked about this book, so I bought it. I don't really do that, so I was thinking maybe it was a God thing because usually I'll add something to my cart, forget about it, but this, I was like, I need to buy this book right away. So I didn't ignore that. It's called Crazy Love. It's by Francis Chan, and it says Overwhelmed by a Relentless God. I feel like God has been teaching me lately to just slow down and kind of take a step back and soak up where I'm at because last year for me was such a hustle year. I was constantly going going trying to grow my platforms on social media trying to finish all my college applications. It was just a rat race like nothing was ever enough. I don't know maybe it's just the first week of January thing because I still have this clay all over my hands. Ew. I'm motivated and I'm getting more done so I have more time to relax and not worry so much about work. I don't know just my thoughts. You guys know I could talk for hours on end. If you didn't watch any of my 2022 prep or videos where I talked about things like that I chose a word of the year which was embrace and I don't mean to be that person that's like this is my vibe for not like that I was just thinking about what's ahead and what could align with that and obviously college moving away it's new things that I've never experienced before and I want to embrace it all so this is the first thing I'm embracing is giving myself room to take breaks do a face mask on a school night spend as much time as possible with all the people I love before I it won't be so accessible to me that sounds so morbid but i just mean before i move away i'm gonna go wash this clay off my hands read a little bit of this book wash this off and then go to sleep it's all already drying up wow i'm so excited to go to sleep so soon this is so disgusting actually it looks fine now but like i promise it's just crusty vibes you've probably heard enough from me for the night good morning it's the next no, day we're leaving hello guys it is tuesday morning and we this is like the one day a month that we drive to school together Ugh. and it just works out we're picking up grace because she fractured her ankle this light would ever turn green i should have gone right and then turned up we're going to starbucks yes <clears throat> we're gonna get starbucks on the way and then my windshield wipers squeak and it's the most annoying thing i think i've ever experienced my entire life okay get out go get the thing i can't okay yes, you can. i'm gonna go get the starbucks i'm just gonna run in got them one nice thing about this camera is that i can just put it around my neck when i'm in public so i don't have to worry about getting it out of the bag and it's clunky so i hesitate bringing it into most it's places clunky. it's just bigger than the I'm old one but i can just be hands-free with it which is really nice which is what i did in starbucks it was just around my neck it was recording me doing things also i have two new pimples right here and right here because i picked up my skin after i took off that mask which was so dumb and i regret it but it's a bad habit. I need to kick it and stop it. I'm giving very much egg 
this morning. What the heck? I got a. <gasps> you spell out my car. I swear. I'm not gonna I spill it, Allison. Ruin your life. Well, you could focus on your driving. I am driving just fine, Katie. I got a medicine ball tea and this oatmeal. It's a really good flattering angle of me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You need to stop breaking like that. Hey guys, Here. my hair is not, it's not giving what it needs to. I'm in a boot right now. You probably think, oh, that's not bad. Well, well girl, it is. <laughs> it's bad. So I was at a college clinic for cheer, and trying to get recruited. Probably won't happen anymore, but I was tumbling and I ate it. Oh, my mom called me. That's really concerning. And I ate it. Um, my foot ate it too. I fractured my foot and sprained it. Oh no, what'd you forget? Uh, I don't know. I, Yes, mom. I have to get surgery to so fix up that little fracture. Put a little two screws in there. At first, Grace told me she sprained the left and fractured the right, but she met the sides of her foot. And I was so concerned that she sprained one ankle and fractured the other. And I was, oh my gosh. but it's just the side of my foot. She gave wheelchair bound. Guys, I kind of wish I had a wheelchair because like going around on these crutches is not it. Then I have to take two months off. That to is heal. so sad. Anyway, guys, say your prayers for me. Yeah. And then I don't go insane. I also can't go to cheer. Live, love, laugh. God always has a plan. What if I told you none of it? I wish I could play this, but it's copyrighted. So bye. We'll see you at school. It's 11.22 and it's raining so hard outside. We were like all under the umbrella. School is over. I'm in Matt's car. We're getting Chipotle and then we're going to the gym. I have a very busy afternoon. His back windshield wiper is going crazy. But he didn't get to school till like really late. Until my third class or my second class. Yeah. That's like the third block. 1120. Yeah, it's 1120. Anyway, it was raining so hard. I was briefly telling you about it and then I had to shut off the camera because my class was starting. But it was raining so hard at one point in between our classes and I was like huddled under an umbrella with my friends. It was pouring, Everything. it was sloshing. It's like the most careful I've ever driven in my life. Yeah. Anyway, after we go to the gym, I'm rushing back home to get ready and then I have to pick up Grace. I don't think you're in the right place. You're not in the right place. It's, it's, in, it's, in, it's in this back place. It's in, it's in a completely different complex. So our intermission, we uh, got lost and we had to put on the directions. Anyway, after we go to the gym, I'm going home to get ready super fast and then pick up Grace and go cheer at a basketball game tonight. So that's what's going on the rest of the day. I am filming a different video tonight, so I'll probably just cut to tomorrow morning in a little bit because all of tonight will be in the video I posted for this one. We got the goods. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday and it's been over 24 hours since I've last updated you. So we're gonna change that. I just got up and I did not go to my first period class today. It's nine something right now. And I was just feeling so sleep deprived and I didn't think we were doing that much in that class anyway. So I skipped it. I think I did that twice last semester. Anyway, I need to hurry up so I have time for breakfast and I can't park on campus. So I have to walk over. I'm speeding to get ready right now and I'm so glad that I didn't go to that class and I just slept in instead. It has honestly just felt like such a long week already and I could not believe yesterday was only Wednesday. I vlogged the day for TikTok, so if you guys wanna go see everything there, you can. I need to tan, I need to get self tanner. I have been putting it off, but I just feel so much more confident when I'm tan in the summer. So I think it's time soon to begin that journey of my life. I have none of my products out here. I keep having to go back in there and get stuff that I forgot to bring out in the first place. Yesterday, I went to morning practice, went to classes, and then I drove Grace home because she still can't drive. I got a bunch of work done at her house. We ordered sandwiches and I tested out her Apple headphones and I really liked them, but I'm still not gonna buy my own just because I can't get over the price. I feel like I could get some Sony ones for the same quality and the Apple ones kind of gave me a headache after a while, but I did love the look of them. I literally have to leave so soon. I don't know why I do this to myself every single morning, but after I left her house, I went to Sephora. Speaking of makeup, I got new brushes. It was just a big editing day, so I was doing a lot on the computer, so I feel like it would have been a boring vlog anyway, but I have had these same brushes for years. I cleaned them, but it's just time. I also need a new one of these because I'm hitting pan, but there's not any more left. They discontinued them. I also got a new blush. This one at Sephora. I had it before and then I lost it. I have no idea where it went and I'm so sad about it. So I got a new one. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do mascara. I might just have to call it good on this. I wanted to curl my hair too, but that's gonna have to wait for tomorrow before I go to detention because I need to leave soon and I really want to eat breakfast. Anyway, I had a very nutritious dinner last night at like 10 something of Dino nuggets it was literally so good and so needed anyway i feel like i've been on the treadmill this week 
constantly trying to keep up with things but that honestly deep down that's the way i'm getting the browns around my nails i love life i love being busy and it fills my heart to spend time with the people i love be there for the people i love and get to do this job it's my favorite thing in the world but this week does feel like it's been five thousand years long already so i'm glad there's only one more day until the weekend tomorrow's gonna be super fun though because we have another basketball game today i'm wearing my iowa stuff if you guys have been a really long time follower, you might know this, but my grandpa went to the University of Iowa and he loves Iowa. It's his birthday this weekend. And in our second semester, we're allowed to wear college stuff or college sweatshirts. So I'm gonna represent for him and wear my Iowa sweatshirt. I also took the best shower ever last night. The shower, you know, I shaved my legs, washed my hair, the whole shebang. I'm gonna get dressed and then head out the door. It's a new day, it's gonna be a great day. And as always, you're coming with. Another thing I did yesterday was hang this plaque and I'm so happy about it that it's up here. Thank you guys, that is all because of you. And I have my dresses to try on for winter formal that came in the mail. And you know I will be trying these on first thing when I'm back from school. Hello guys, I just got out of my second class. I should have had three classes today, but I only went to two. It's 1.03 p.m. Matt saved the day this morning and picked me up so I didn't have to walk and he just dropped me off back at my car. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for lunch because I have to go to Target to pick up a card for my grandpa and get containers for my bathroom organization stuff. I'm doing a five part series on TikTok and I'll include some snippets in here because I know a lot of people don't have TikTok or it's just you want to see both but I'm going to be organizing five different spaces that are just always messy that I've neglected but I'm so hungry right now you can probably hear it in my voice. I'm dying out. I ate the rice cakes this morning and I ate a go macro bar but I'm still really hungry and then tonight we're going to celebrate my grandpa's birthday because my mom and Allie are going out of town. You're on my steering wheel right now and you're propped up by a napkin i just feel like i'm gonna fall asleep i need food this is always what happens when i feel this way i need food all right food has been secured the guy at nectar gave me both the smoothie and the bowl because they're both called on the menu it's the banana berry smoothie or the banana berry bowl and i don't know what to do with this because i'm not going to drink it i mean maybe i'll drink some of it but it's basically the same thing one's just in a smoothie form i'll probably just take it home put it in the freezer but i ordered this bowl and then there was a grocery store right next to it so i went in there and got the card because usually they take a while and instead of going to target i'm going to go into home goods because there's also one across the way sometimes nectar can be a hit or miss but deep down i love it i wish i could do something nice with this smoothie and give it to somebody i'm going to finish this and then we're going to home goods i'm so tempted i want this but i don't need it oh my lord it has been such an eventful day already and i forgot my camera so i couldn't bring to school it's friday i was really popping off the first half of the week with my vlogging and the second half of the week it's not so much but that's usually how it goes because i feel like my week gets busier as the days go on anyway this morning i woke up wait i'm getting ahead of myself the last you saw of me was in home goods i wanted to get so many different things it made me feel so inspired to decorate but i had to hold myself back i'll show you what i did get though i was literally in there for an hour and a half anyway i'm gonna rapid fire tell you what i got and then i'm gonna try on my winter formal dresses i also i'm gonna tell you the first half of the day everything that happened it's two something right now and i have to leave around four to go to our basketball game because there's another one tonight and then that'll probably be it these are the first organizers i got they have them for really good prices at home goods these ones too you can probably see i got so much gunk in here from the next thing i got this plant um when i brought it home i was like this is actually the ugliest thing i've ever seen why did i buy this but it kind of matches the aesthetic of my room really well, but it literally sheds like a dog. Here, what do we think? Definitely did not make my bed this morning. Anyway, it sheds. I also don't think I've talked about this thing enough on YouTube. This is a cutout from my grandma's old Bible. It has Bible verses for specific feelings. She's in heaven now, so it means so much to me to have that there. And I could just like start crying whenever I think of her. So anyway, it's really special to me. And I love that it's there because it's a little reminder of her. And she was such a strong woman of faith. And I miss her. And there was a time, this is, I should not go down this hole right now because I know I'm going to get emotional. But there was a time before she passed away that we went to dinner together for one of my family members 
members birthdays and she was asking all kinds of questions about my videos and all the things I was posting and this was when I was first getting started on YouTube where I had a really small audience and she told me I literally brought this upon myself by talking about it but she told me that one day she was gonna be in heaven and looking down and so proud of me and so I wish I could send this to her and talk to her it's not where I meant to go with this but yeah I know she would have loved hearing all about like my high school things and everything I can't not cry when I talk about about it. Anyway, she would be really into all my organizing plans too because she was an artist and she sewed quilts. And I gotta stop. Anyway, she's probably looking down at me right now and laughing. She had such a dark humor. She was so funny and just the best. I gotta pull myself together. Moving on, I got this mirror. I'm gonna unscrew these, I think, and spray paint the outside white. It's probably gonna be a much more difficult task than I anticipate, but I'll have my mom help me because she's really good at all those crafty home projects. I hope one day I develop that skill. And then the last thing I got were these shower curtain rings because mine always rust. And I get them at Target and I'm just like, the rusting has gotta stop. So I got these ones and they say they're anti-rust. Who knows if that's right, but they're metal instead of plastic and they hook, um, or they have a hook for both sides. So I think it'll be a lot easier to put these on and install them and whatever. Install is not the right word, just it'll be easier to hang everything up. And then lastly, I got new towels. I have these pink towels, but I've had them since I moved into this house with my family and they have become really gross they just look washed out you know there's no color in them really anymore so I got these ones that way I can just throw them in the wash and bleach them because they're all white I think I'm gonna curl my hair right now because that way when I try on the dresses I can see what they look like because I want to curl my hair for formal I have a little bit of work to do today but it's not crazy because I did a lot yesterday after I got home I was just on my computer 24 7 and I started my 2023 recap video I did the same thing last year in at the beginning of 2022 and I loved making that video it was so much fun to look back on and I considered not doing it this year because it's really difficult to keep track of all the footage and keep track of the work Working project but I think it's worth it for the memories and the ability to look back on the year especially because this is gonna be such a crazy transitional year in my life with graduating and everything I think that was all I was gonna say oh I also went to detention this morning and I got Starbucks and then this is what it was I was gonna tell you about the rest of the day so detention this morning at 7 30 actually wasn't that bad it was basically like study hall so it was kind of nice that I was just forced to sit and do work and not be on my phone that was a lot at once sorry Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go curl my hair. Like there's other things I could do right now, but I just need to stop looking at my phone. I've been on my phone so much this week too. Just so distracted, which obviously isn't really something I'll film, but I wanna put that out there because I don't want you guys to think that I'm just never on my phone. It's definitely my biggest distraction. I have no idea where my curling iron is. I don't know what is wrong with me. I cannot keep track of anything. I bought a new one over break from Kristen S and I cannot find it. And I opened my little cabinet here and almost started crying because I thought it was right in there. This is like the biggest mystery of my life. I already called Allie. She doesn't have it. I don't know where it is. And I really liked it. Oh my gosh, what if I left it in Arizona? That would be so stupid, but so like me. I would absolutely do something like that. But I swear I put it back in there. I'm literally screwed. Plan B, my mom has this one underneath her sink. I don't know if it works though. I don't know how old it is. I don't know anything. Oh my gosh, it turned on. It seems to be heating up. She was very slow and very, very inconsistent. This actually took me an hour and a half. I have to leave in 15 minutes and I have to try on all these dresses and get my cheer stuff on and fix my makeup. I probably should have just given up the whole curling thing, but I was really determined. But I think the only way that they're gonna look somewhat consistent is if I brush them all out. I really thought this thing was gonna die out on me. Let's try these on. Here's the second one. Sorry about this horrible angle. The first one was a no. I love this one. Like the boob situation, it was not working out. Okay, next one. I like it, but I don't know how to feel about this whole situation up here. Do you know what I mean? There's just like some weird gaps. It's kind of long. Next. I love this one. I think it's going to be between this and the pink for sure. Hello, guys. We're here. We made it. Cammie is fixing her eye makeup. Here we go. We are trekking up to the dance room with the... <laughs> You Coming know, in crutch. Broken foot and toe. Oh and Cammy's emo earrings. Yeah, they're actually taped because I got new piercings. <laughs> and Bella's doing Pilates. Hey guys, we just won. Woo! Well, I ended up really good. Soccer one and basketball one. Uh, and um, that baseball. Guys, we won our game. I'm so Yay. excited. And my dad brought me pizza. 
My sister watches these, by the way. Are we I'm not gonna give her a shout out. Saw me in order. Say hi to your sister. Say, say. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> we are in and out. Thank God. I've never been so excited to eat a burger in my life. I'm so hungry. Um, I actually didn't go to the basketball game because Brian, my brother. Oh no! <laughs> Brian, my brother, had a football game that I had to go to. Anders, say hi. What's up, guys? <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to end the vlog here. You can barely see me. Hold on. I'm in Matt's car and taking me home, but it was such a fun week. Thank you guys for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Love you all very much. Thank you guys for all your support and love. I will see you in my next video coming soon. Can they see me? Do I really give him a kiss too? I'll miss you vlog. Bye vlog. Oh my gosh, that car is scary. Okay, bye vlog. <laughs> Just say what you're gonna say. What comes to mind when you think about me? Stuck up. I'm <laughs> I think she's an influencer, like that one comment. <laughs> Put a camera in front of me and say be serious. It doesn't work like that. That's why the I Wait, I'm still vlogging! <laughs> Do you have any good desserts? Oh my gosh, you don't understand how excited I am to see your dogs. I'm gonna watch this vlog back and I'm gonna look crusty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking trash. Watch out, we'll talk about you. Oh, Bye. I look so 